Thank you for joining us today. I'm Nina Corpus, and I'll be your host for the launch of the new Pediasure Plus 10 Plus by Abbott Nutrition. For most of us, we know that Pediasure Plus is a complete and balanced nutrition that is clinically proven to support growth and immunity in children. While the first five years of a child's life serve as an important window for their growth, early adolescence from the age of 10 to 15 provides the last chance to make the most out of their final growth spurt and reach their full height potential. As parents, we must recognize just how important these windows are in ensuring that they are immune from sickness and strong and grow up to be tall as they can possibly be. Especially since growth is not solely dependent on genes, nutrition plays a key role as well. That's why the new PediaSure 10 Plus is here to help them catch up on their last chance of growth. To shed more light on how important it is to maximize the final growth spurt, I'm delighted to be joined by three wonderful individuals, two esteemed adults in the fields of medicine. First, we have Dr. Silvia Capistrano Estrada, a metabolic specialist and pediatric endocrinologist who graduated from the University of the Philippines and is a fellow of the Philippine Society of Pediatric Metabolism and Endocrinology. Dr. Silvia Capistrano Estrada, hello. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> yes, thank you, Nina. You can call me Babu. Dr. Oh, Babu. Babu. Okay. How cute naman, Dr. Babu. Thank you for uh, being with us. We're looking forward to your insights. And uh, also joining us here on the panel, it's a person with more than 25 years of experience in the field of nutrition. The Medical Director for Pacific Asia at Abbott, Dr. June Dimaano. Hello, Dr. June. Hello, Nina. And I'm happy to be here um, to be talking to you and the rest of the panel. It's so nice to see you again, Dr. June. It's been a while since I've seen you in person, no? And of course, Dr. Babu, we really look forward to hearing your valuable insights and perspectives for today's discussion. Speaking of perspectives, well, it's great to hear from doctors today. It's also great to hear from someone who's going through the very uh, stage of growth we're actually going to talk about today. The eldest of the kids of Team Kramer, Kendra Kramer. Hi, Kendra. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Kendra. Hello. Hello. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, Kendra, and we're really glad that you could be with us here today. It's, uh, I think this is the first time I met you in person, but I feel yeah. like I know you already. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> How have you been? I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so glad I get to meet all of you guys and you get to speak yeah. about growth. Yes, and uh, before we go to that, I just wanted to know what have you been doing during this long break? Well, lately I've been focusing on my sports, my studies and my music. So my sports, I do um, a few martial arts and I do my ballet and my swimming. And then also my music, I've been focusing on my drums and my singing and my studies as well since I'm homeschooled. That's oh, a lot. that's a lot, Kendra. I yeah. wish um, we could all do that. But, you know, it's, uh, it's great to hear it from someone uh, like you who can be an inspiration to other girls your yeah, age. Definitely. So I also uh, saw that not too long ago, you traveled with your parents, with, your, yeah. with the family. Yeah, we did. We went to the States. It was super fun. We went to lots of places and we got to experience new things together. So which part was your favorite? Well, personally, I enjoyed going to like lots of states, but I mostly enjoyed when we went to New York because um, I've always wanted to go there since I was little. So it's something on my bucket list that I was able to do finally. So it's, I was very excited. It's great because I was thinking but maybe it's Disneyland because I saw you guys travel from the West Coast to the East Coast. Yeah, we had like really long road trip, like three days. Oh Come wow, that, so that's that's really fun. Yeah, I think I'm sure because you know I also like going on road trips myself with the family, and yeah. it's the time when you get to know each other. Yeah, you know the good and the bad, but it's all fun. It's all yeah. good. Now this is such a tita question of me. Are you already thinking of what you want to do in the future, Kendra? Well, I have a lot of careers in mind, but I mostly want to get into the fashion industry. And I'm really interested in fashion lately. Oh yeah, we can see that in your posts, yeah. but yeah, um, aside from fashion, you mentioned you're doing so many things. Yeah. Uh, like sports and music, but one thing that really sticks out as well is when you post those, you know, uh, your portraits and you're being compared to some of the beauty queens. So aside from designing, um, is modeling also something that you could see yourself doing or joining beauty pageants? Well, modeling, yes. Um, beauty pageants, I'm not so sure of yet. 
it's definitely interesting to me. But modeling, I definitely want to do someday. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, it's. Uh, I saw you with that model, and you were, you know, trying out some poses yeah, on Instagram. That was so fun. Yeah. I, I bet it's also hard to do, no? Yeah, some poses were hard to do. Yeah, it's like yeah. a, you know, it's like a sport. You have to bend here and there. It's something yeah. that people think it's easy, but you but know, sometimes it's not. It's yeah. not definitely okay. Now, one more thing before we go into our main discussion, um, Kendra, and I are going to play assumptions about me. Okay. Okay, where I read some of the assumptions about Kendra that were sent online, and Kendra will either confirm or deny them. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Kendra, okay. Uh, here we go. Play assumptions about me. Um, here's one assumption about you is that uh, you're always on social media. Um, well, I am on social media, but I'm not always there. I usually play with my siblings a lot more. Play yeah. with them um, games or play. Actual, actually playing with actually them? Actually playing with them, yeah. Okay, so there you go. She's not always on social media. Yeah. Okay, and uh, here's another assumption about you that you're woke and that you're into social um, issues. Well, that depends on the social issues. I don't really engage in them, but sometimes me and my friends, we talk about it and we discuss it amongst ourselves sometimes. But I don't really, again, I don't really engage in them. But I am aware of some social issues. It's like, is there a favorite one or something that you well, focused on lately? Not really. No. Okay, here's number three, Kendra. Uh, assumption about you that you know more than two languages. Well, I'm trying to learn Spanish and I also want to learn Korean someday. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Just by watching, do you like Korean novellas also? Yeah, a lot. I was thinking like, maybe I can turn off the subtitles one day and just understand it. Like, that's my goal one day. That would be great, no? Yeah. about Filipino? Can we hear some? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kumusta ka I usually Kendra? only talk, ano about Filip talk to Filipino with my yayas lang. Uh oh, oh, that's yeah. good that they talk to you in Filipino. I also yeah. do that with my kids. Dapat may nagsasalita ng Filipino in the, in, the, in the household. So yeah. all of you are like trilingual na, di ba? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so okay, next time we'll test you with your uh, Korean and your Spanish. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Number four. Okay, you love sports and that you're athletic. I love sports a lot. My mom and dad were very athletic when they were little and up to now as well. And I also do a lot of sports. Um, I do, yeah, again, I do some martial arts and I also do like ballet and swimming. Parang nakakatakot to, ano, be friends with you, especially if I'm a boy. Should that preparing you to, ano, do karate or <laughs> sa taekwondo? Um, my sister does taekwondo. I do arnis and jujitsu. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. My gosh, jujitsu. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so good luck to uh, the future friends. Okay, <laughs> number five. You have many friends. I don't think I have to ask, but yeah, okay. I have a lot of friends, but very few close friends. Okay, yeah. that's that's a, a good uh, distinction because yeah. um, especially now that all of us were cooped up during yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. Did you feel that you got closer to some of your friends even definitely, though we're all... Definitely, definitely. Because we got to spend... We got to talk more online. Actually, especially because everybody was like in their house. So we got to get closer personally as well. That's true. I also felt the same way with my family, especially yeah. those who are abroad. Then we yeah. tended, you know, we tend to talk more with them now compared yeah. to before the pandemic. Okay. Yeah. Number six, you're a picky eater now. Are you? I, it <laughs> depends on the food sometimes, but I can't really say I'm a picky eater, but my sister is. Binu King, si Ken, si Scarlett. <laughs> okay, oh, so. <laughs> wala kasi dito si Scarlett. Lagot ka sa next. <laughs> okay, number seven. You love fast food. Um, I like fast food, but I can't imagine myself eating it like every week or every Not day. Not every week. Every oh yeah, day. every day, but every, wow. So you, you don't eat fast food often like, you know, no, other people. Not really. That's actually great. I'm with you on, with that one as yeah. a mom. Okay, number eight. Prefers high heels over flats. It depends on the location. Okay. Sometimes in the mall, I prefer like heels. But like, let's say I'm going out just, you know, let's say. Like right now, you're just wearing flats. Exactly. Very relaxed. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Is it comfortable when you wear those high heels? I mean, for you or the flats? Sometimes I'm kind of used to it already. Yeah. But sometimes my feet hurts a lot. So I kind of prefer flats. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, may tawag dyan, tiis ganda. Sometimes girls like us, we do that. 
Yeah, exactly. And you should understand it's hard. Yeah. No? <laughs> but I love flats. Ako, I live in my flats as well. Okay, number yeah. nine. This is like all Miss Universe questions. <laughs> okay, that you're very good in academics. Yeah, I think you can say I'm good in academics. I, I'm doing well in school. And I, I enjoy my school. I enjoy Very much, learning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great to know. Because um, uh, I could see that naman with the way your parents are, um, you know, uh, showcasing uh, your schoolwork. Because you're homeschooled, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. But I heard that this uh, coming school year, yeah, there's I'm something going, new. Yeah, I'm going to regular school. Um, oh, wow. School okay. Year, yeah. That's something very you're excited. very excited about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so number 10. You never got major illness or you were never hospitalized? Um, well, when I was baby, I got pneumonia when okay. I was baby, but it was I was very young that time. But yeah, that's the only time I got went to the hospital talaga. But yeah, and babies are really prone to those things. But yeah. when you were growing up, wala na. Yeah, I was okay. I it never. Means you're so healthy, and your immune system is strong. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to know that. Okay, so um, th those are already ten assumptions about you that you answered. Okay. Um, as you can see, you know some are just assumptions yeah. and some are not, you know, it's not yes or no, right? Yeah, exactly. So she has to explain it. It's good that you're here to um, explain it to us so that other people can know you better and also, you know, do the same with other people. You just don't make assumptions, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's good to uh, know where they're coming from as well. The person that's, uh, you know, uh, we're talking to like right now, it's Kendra. Okay, so given all these things that we talked about, this, this, uh, sometimes make you feel conscious when people uh, think about you in a certain way and then maybe you're not like that? Well, personally, I don't really let it get to me. I think the point is I know that I know what I really am, so I don't really get affected by what other people think of me because I know myself that I'm like this, yes. something like that. Very yeah. well said, Kendra. I think, you know, uh, that's one of the things that parents like us should instill our kids like what your yeah. parents are doing to you to just feel confident no matter what other people say because exactly. these days you know do you get affected like that but others are so affected yeah it's not well sometimes i don't get i don't get affected a lot mm -hmm. so i don't really care yeah <laughs> actually it's a very good uh uh reaction to some of the things that we read about on social mm -hmm. media okay kendra given all these assumptions about you do these kinds of things make you feel conscious somehow, especially at your age? Well, I just try my best not to worry about those things. And um, after all, both my mom and my mm -hmm. dad, they just want me to have a happy time and enjoy as a kid. And, you know, stay healthy physically and mentally. You know, that's really absolutely, absolutely what parents like me want for our kids at the end of yeah. the day. Seeing you all grow up to be healthy and happy is every parent's dream. But yes. since, you know, you mentioned growing up, Kendra, are there any challenges uh, that you, you feel that you've run into in terms of growth? And are there any things that you're trying to do to address them? Well, I feel like when I was younger, the growth was a bit slow. But, you know, mm -hmm. now I'm sleeping earlier, I'm getting the right nutrition, and, you know, I've also been drinking my milk more often. So my, my growing has been speeding up a bit more, which is much better. Actually, kasi tangkad na niya ako. Nahiya ako. You're so tall, actually. <laughs> and like, Doctora Babu, <laughs> di ba? Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, it's, uh, it, it gives us hope that, I can't imagine you felt that way given the fact that, you know, um, we all saw you grow up and you feel that, you know, you have no problems in that department. But as yeah. we can see, just like any other kid pala, you have that feeling. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, all so, May pag -asa pa, especially since you mentioned you're doing uh, all the necessary things that you ought to do at this age, sleep yeah. early. Ang hirap nun ngayon sa parents. Puti yung kakasleep early ka. Yeah, it's all because of my mom. <laughs> that's our. That's really what moms do. Yeah, yeah it becomes a, like a challenge and a str struggle for us. But we really want the best for you lang talaga. So, if you feel that your growth has slowed down, uh, you might want some extra nutrients to make the most out of this uh, last chance of your uh, final growth spurt. Yeah, I'm sure now we have the experts with us, Kendra. We can listen to them as well as the parents um, who are here with us right now. Um, I now turn to Dr. Babu. Mm -hmm. Dr. Babu, are the things Kendra is going through right now typical among children her age? Yeah, so Kendra, you mentioned like initially you felt that you were growing really slow. 
Yeah. And then now that you're beginning to bloom into a young lady, you're beginning to feel that you're growing a little faster. Yeah. So this is something that we really expect yeah. with, uh, with other children going into adolescence, we call that. So, yeah, so very typical. And then they start being insecure about Am I as tall? Why is my classmate taller than me? Oh, yeah. right. Why am I so, shorter? And then yeah. we're in the same age, naman. Oh, right? yeah. So there are many factors that I'm glad, Kendra, you mentioned that you started to drink your milk more, you started to sleep early, and and your mom has been very instrumental in giving you the right nutrition. So yes. kudos to your mom, okay? Yeah. And to you. Okay? Yes, yeah. Cheska, mm -hmm. <laughs> mommy Cheska, and of course Kendra for being a, an obedient daughter, oh, yes. You hear that, kids? <laughs> Matulog kayo ng maaga din. and drink your milk. Even if you're mm -hmm. 10 years old, diba? Some people think kasi it's kahit okay, 10, yeah. diba? It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And you enjoy your milk, drinking yeah, milk. Yeah, exactly. And look what it can do to you, diba? At first, uh -huh. you felt that you're not growing as much, but because of what you're doing now, we can see that talagang it really paid off. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Babu, can you share with us findings on stunting that is prevalent not only among 1 to 5-year-olds, but also kids 10 to 15 years old? Yes, no, so worldwide they've already seen, and even in our own local setting, below the age of five, one in every three children are actually short. And surprisingly, even in the 10 to 19 years old, in 10 to 15 specifically, one in every four is also short. Yeah, and they look like, it looks like they're tracing it back to the inadequacy of calories and also the types of food that are Teeners are, are eating now. Eating no? this day. It's okay. Yeah, we were mm -hmm. talking about fast food nga and the sweets, of course, yeah. something that we all love. But I guess it's when the time when the parents uh, tell their kids na, you know, give them more choices. That's right. That's okay. right. So, oh, eto ha, Dr. Uh -oh. Babu. Can you confirm if the 10 to 15 year old age range is the last growth spurt for kids? Yes, it is. And it's also what we call the second chance to grow. At okay. least meron pang chance. Yes, yeah. tama yun. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, given this, would parents need to require up to, you know, two times more growth nutrients when it comes to, uh, you know, their kids? Okay. Uh, let's put it this way. Every stage of our lives, there will always be recommended uh, calor caloric loads mm -hmm. and also nutrients depending on that stage of life. But having said that, because of that rapid growth spurt that we're after, we'd like to make sure that the children, 10 to 15, would really have this adequate nutrition. So it doesn't necessarily mean double, but there are recommended um, dietary allowances that are, it's out there. And mm -hmm. in the local setting, June, diba, we have what we call the Philippine daily uh, recommended intakes mm -hmm. which actually gives us a guide as to for proteins this is how much we should be taking between 8 and 15 percent carbohydrates we need about 35 to 55 percent and fat so much all of this we want to show that there must be a balance it can't be puro protein lang it can't mm -hmm. be puro carbs lang there really has to be a balance because every macronutrient in carbohydrates in proteins, in fats, they have a purpose in our growth um, journey. Okay, mm -hmm. so all, you, basically you're telling us that a well-balanced meal, because yes. you know sometimes yes. like the diet, can the mga bata, de ba? Yes. They're skipping rice, their carbs, exactly. but yeah. you still need them. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, even mm -hmm. amount of everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, doctor, what are the usual causes of insufficient weight uh, gain yes. and stunted growth? Okay, what they've seen in research and even in our own local data, when they've analyzed really the caloric density and the types of food that our Filipinos are consuming, we kulang talaga. Um, well, of course, maybe the population that they studied were more in the rural and probably the underprivileged, which I think you will agree with in Nina, 70% of our population really do not have. No? So, Looking at their diets, they, they've seen that deficient. We are deficient in terms of the total caloric need by as much as 35%. I was surprised, That's no? A lot, huh? That's a lot compared, let's say, if you were supposed to be taking, let's say, 1,000 or 2,000 calories as, as, um, as an adolescent. Some of them are taking 1,000 calories. That's how. Yes, and exactly. So that's like two thousand pala for the adolescents. Yes, yes. Okay. For some males, uh, in the, the athletes, mga three thousand. Again, depending on what you do, 
and uh, what types of activities yes. you're engaged in. So then your nutritionist can help you. Yeah. Okay, but this is the other surprising thing, and I was really, really surprised. Um, a study by FNRI showed that, can you imagine, Filipino children between the ages of 6 and 18, actually, no? They were deficient in terms of their calcium intake by 90 to 92 percent. Oh, wow! And I think that that boils down to our population being non-milk drinkers. So, and if they looked at the diets that we're eating, it's mainly cereals, it's really heavy on carbs, and we really lack protein. That's the other thing. As much as 40, our protein intake, we're deficient by about 40%. Sad, right? So yeah. that would be, to answer your question, what's causing us to be short, and, and our Korean and Japanese neighbors have already transcended the generational gap, right? Is because our diets, early in life are actually deficient in total caloric load plus the nutrients. Mm -hmm. And so, if we really want to make a difference in our children, let's not wait for the second wind. I mean, we, we're happy we have this second chance, but even early on, as parents, let's engage them to think about the nutrition of their children, especially in the first five years, and sustain this. And of course, I won't forget what she was saying, no? you really need the family to be there for you, to have fun with, to be yes. exercising outside. So exactly what you guys, Team K Kramer's doing. Okay? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, okay, so uh, it's good that you reminded us, Doctor, na hindi nga tayo mahilig sa gatas. Ako kasi nung bata ko, hindi ako mahilig sa gatas. Ah, Aaminin okay. ko. Kaya hindi siguro ako to. <laughs> but now, so yung mga hindi ko ginawa, I want my kids, you know, now I'm happy to, to share as well that yeah. my kids love to drink milk. Oh, so it's okay. something now that talagang part of their daily lives. Mm, okay. So uh, it's glad that I'm so glad that you mentioned that, so that moms like us and parents like us will really pay attention to this deficiency. Calcium, mm. you said 90, 92 percent. Ano? 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 <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is the impact of protein on uh, muscle growth, uh, Doctora? Yes. Aside from we mentioned drinking milk, yes. what measures can parents do? to uh, address stunting and maximize this crucial window of their kids' growth. Okay. I think one of the important things is, I mean, I think parents know naman that they have to feed their kids, diba? Mm -hmm. But sometimes they're lost. They're yeah. lost, diba? So uh, they look for quick fixes. Mm -hmm. But I think it won't hurt for you to either talk to a nutritionist or a dietitian, to your, to your friends. Ano ba pinapakain nyo na dito? Mm -hmm. Okay, you were asking about what's the impact of protein? If you look out there, many say, don't give too high protein, it's bad for the kidneys. You know, there are a lot of mm -hmm. myths. Or cancer, about, ganyan. Yeah, they're going to have cancer, etc. But what have they actually shown? Protein is so, so important, especially in the 10 to 15 year olds when growth is very active. And they are also not growing active, but they're also very physically active. What they've shown is that protein intake provides the amino acids for growth. That's one. Second is, after exercise, may science pala yun June eh, uh -huh. na you give them protein because it will provide the amino acids to take care now of the muscle breakdown that happened and restore the muscle, muscle strength yeah. and energy and restore the whole protein after that. So there is a science to it. So it's not only quality protein, quantity protein, but it's also the timing of when you give it. Oh, so, so like, let's say after Kendra does her 25-meter swim, yes. yeah. you, you're prob yeah. I'm sure you're so hungry. Yeah, yeah so I always ask for like a snack after yeah. that. So yes. you can put yeah. french fries lang, huh? Yeah, okay. you see <laughs> protein at saka Pidya Sure 10 Plus. Yes, dapat. Okay, oh, oh. medyo something with a little protein. So maybe yeah. if you like your your fries or your, coca your, your boiled banana or something, then maybe a glass of 10 Plus would help. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because it's packed with proteins, right? Tama yeah. ba? We'll, we'll ask June later, ha? Oh, oh yeah, that's good okay. to know, no? That timing is also very important. Hindi basta-basta. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it's also good to uh, give your kids some activities para you time it after a very, uh, mm -hmm. well, uh, after a sport, you know, yes. an activity, you can give yeah. them protein. Pero siguro ninyo, sorry my inter for interrupting. Yes. Maybe this is also very important for our athletes, no? Yes. Because sometimes some parents say, eh, Look, ang dami namang kinakain, hamburger, ganun, ganun. Mm -mm -mm. What we don't realize is fast food are, you know, they're not, I'm not saying, I'm not judging that they're all bad. It's just that I think if your kids are into sports, yes. I think you might need some, some help, professional help, 
to kind of see balance ba? Yes. No, tama ba yung calories? Tama ba yung protein? Tama. Because that's the only way you can sustain that sport while making it useful to also increase growth. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. huh? Okay. Yeah, so. Dr. Babu, let's also discuss this thing called the growth plate. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is this thing about closing of the growth plate? And what does it really mean uh, in terms of interventions moms and kids can take to not miss out on the last chance to catch up on growth? Okay, so let's start with your basic question of what's the growth plate? <laughs> Hindi to plato na kinakainan, ha? Okay. Sana ako din, hindi. Ano yung growth plate? Oh, basically, it's the growth center. Okay. Okay, we grow because our bones are elongate. Okay. And the reason why your bones elongate is there's a part in that bone which we call the growth plate or epiphysis, if you want to, to Google that, all right? So it's, it's the... It's the growth of the cell, specifically in that area of the bone, that makes the bone grow. So, the bottom line is, take care, your nutrition has to be important so that it will also take care, not only of how you look physically, how you think mentally, but also your bones. Your bone health is very crucial at this point in pre-adolescence and adolescence because it really determines the, the growth that you have in adulthood. About 15 to 20 percent of the growth of children in adolescence is what determines their growth in adulthood. So, talagang oh, crucial yon. So, yeah. Kendra, ha, you're in that stage. You yes. have uh, to grow. You have to maximize this uh, this time for growth. Yes. No? yes. So, what happens? So, when you go through puberty, you have, of course, the hormones that come in. So in girls, it's estrogen. That's why you start to have breast development, diba? And in boys, it's testosterone. So the boy, the voices start to deepen. It is also the stage when these hormones, it, together with the help of other hormones like thyroid hormone and growth hormone, make you grow, okay? Now, because of these hormones, they're also responsible for making the bones mature. So eventually, over the next, uh, like in girls, usually when you start breast development, it takes about two years for you to optimize that growth spurt. Yeah. Your, your growth centers start to mature and they will continue to grow, but not as fast as the first two years, okay? And until they close, with, that's why they say the growth plate closes, which is about, yeah, uh, at about 18, sarado na siya, wala ka na masyadong magagawa at that point in time. Kaya, bago pa siya sumara, kailangan, let's optimize this time for growth. Okay? So, that's that's good. Kasi, super relate ako dyan, Doctor. <laughs> kasi, my daughter just turned 10. Okay. And she's, um, you know, what you mentioned is she's going through it. Uh, also as well. Mm -hmm. So, sabi mo, uh, uh, when they develop, start de developing those breast yeah. buds, uh -huh. breast buds and tag, two years yung crucial na growth. Usually, yes. for them. That's the time so that they, they have that spurt. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. mm -hmm. So, ayan, ha, mayroon pa tayong pag-asa. Exactly. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Doctor, ano naman yung best diet and exercise and <laughs> sleeping habits? Ayan. Um, that Dapat yata uh, si Kendall tatanungin ko dun sa best diet na yun eh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kasi si June, okay? Okay. Anyway, to me, I really think there's really no best diet. But I, what, what we need to, to really remember is really there has to be a balance in everything. Mm -mm. So, dapat hindi tayo kulang sa, sa tamang calories. Dapat hindi rin tayo kulang sa carbohydrates. Kailangan din tayo mag-isip. No? Wala mm -hmm. kang energy. Remember, in grade school, they also told you, the go, glow, and grow. May naalala ka po ba doon? Do you still remember? What, is um, the, what are the go foods? Uh, the Be, go food? the, yeah, can, go. Yeah, can, go. What are the energy foods? Energy giving foods? I remember learning about this. It's been a while. Your, your, your favorite. Carbs ba yun? Yeah, no? carbs, carbs. Pwede oh, ako na confused sa go, go. Sige, sige. Yung wheat uh, bread mo. Ah, sige. Wheat, okay. Okay. Eh, yung grow. Yung grow. Ano yung grow? grow. What makes you grow? Calcium. Uh, calcium plus? Among the food groups, protein, protein, fats, or carbs. It's proteins, di ba? Yeah. Oh, and then the fats, important then for the hormones. At saka for your skin. Fats? As in yung taba? Yeah, <laughs> hindi yung taba ng yempo, ha? Hindi. <laughs> We're talking about healthy fats, okay? Okay. They're also important for everything. So, the best diet is something that is balanced. Okay. okay? It's not, it's balanced to, to, so that it can come together to give us the protein that's needed to make us grow. And then you have to put in the other part, which is the exercise, which as Kendra said, we need calcium 
attack the bones. Mm -hmm. It's exercise that's going to push your calcium into the bones. And your bones are strong, so it will elongate, you'll grow. Okay. And definitely the most important, alam ko, type na type mo talaga itong sleep. Sleep oh, hygiene yun, na to. O, sige. Sa mga mami. <laughs> Balik tayo doon. O, sige. Adolescents, please. And um, <laughs> if you are with Kendra here, and she already told you she sleeps better. Kendra, ask ko lang. Sige nga. How many hours do you sleep? What time do you sleep and what time do you wake up? Naku, trick question to. Sige. On weekdays, I usually sleep at 9 or 10 and then I wake up at um, 8. Wow! wow. Ingit ka na. That's so <laughs> ideal. <laughs> wow! Very good. Star. Very good. Star power. <laughs> Kaya pala, look at her. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, okay. so she's really, so impressed. I know. <laughs> so, June, kaya mo ba yan? <laughs> so, no, but really, uh, joking aside, that's really what adolescents and pre-adolescents need. At least 8 to 10 hours of regular sleep. Because this is a time, think about your bodies as like being a mobile phone. Diba? You have to charge them also. Mm -hmm. Ganon din ang inisip nyo. Your bodies need to recharge with sleep. Because sleep, during sleep, that's when your growth hormones are also released. And that's also the time for all your processes in the body to parang, okay, recharge tayo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's sleep, it's good nutrition, it's exercise, get some sun. And of yeah. course, our parents will provide the nurturing environment for us. And of course, good friends. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, yun lang, Nina. It's so nice to hear it from you, Doctor. <laughs> it sounds so easy. <laughs> but we can do it, mommies and daddies. And, um, you know, uh, if we watch shows like this or we watch discussions mm -hmm. like this, it's really very important. And so glad to be here oh. um, to interview you and listen to your um, insights. So, yeah. thank you so much, Hi. Dr. Babu. Yeah, pleasure uh, was mine. Salama. Yes, for shedding uh, mm -hmm. some very important light on the crucial growth um, window among preteens and early adolescents with a smile. Okay. Sino mga gusto kong doktor? Okay. And to ensure the nutritional needs naman, no, mm -hmm. of our preteens, the new Pediasure Plus 10 Plus is the first Abbott nutrition product scientifically designed to support the final growth spurt in children ages 10 to 15 years old. So, Doc June, could you tell us more about this breakthrough product? Sure, Nina. So we have uh, been having a very interesting discussion about growth, nutrition, and stunting. No, so what, what does Abbott have to do with that? So we in Abbott believe that proper nutrition lays the foundation so that a person such as Kendra can live her best and fullest life possible. And that's why we develop innovations that we put into our products, such as Pediasure Plus that will meet their unmet nutritional needs. Sabi nga ni Kendra a while ago, sometimes she's a picky eater and sometimes she would eat unhealthy food. And also considering what Dr. Babu mentioned about the protein inadequacy, the undernutrition or malnutrition that is being experienced by a lot of Filipino adolescents, we really need to support their um, nutrition and their health. So what we have done in a Pediasure Plus 10 Plus is to have it, you know, enhance it with more nutrients. So ano ba yung kaibahan? ng Pediasure Plus 10 Plus from the formulation designed for the above 3 years old up to the 10 year old mm. uh, bracket. So una-una, it's still complete and balanced. It's still calorically dense at 1 kcal per ml, which mm. they need to support their uh, growth spurt and uh, to provide them with energy. And what's more important, mm. I think, is what uh, to uh, Dr. Babu's point, it has 25% more protein per serving. So, mas okay. marami siyang protein content na kailangan ng mga kabataan for their growth. Another thing, it has two times the level of uh, calcium, two times the level of vitamin K2, and also about 75% more vitamin D, which are all important to support healthy musculoskeletal growth. And on top of that, since we are talking about immunity as well, which can affect their growth, it has a lot of uh, micronutrients. In fact, 22 of the vitamins and minerals are at higher levels compared to the Pediasure Plus designed for the 3 to the 10 year old age group. Mm -hmm. So, must enhance new levels, new nutrients, the Pediasure Plus 10 Plus, scientifically designed to support the growth of adolescents like Kendra. So, please take advantage of this last major growth spurt of uh, children, of adolescents, by providing them a proper nutrition such as Pediasure Plus 10 Plus. 
Yeah. Amazing, Doc. It's uh, great to hear all these things. Um, it's really the answer to what parents like me have been looking for, especially for that age range, you know, 10 to 15 year old stage, which is a critical growth uh, period. And it's the last spurt kids will get to enjoy. And I'm so glad to know that there's hope. Yes, and that there's this perfect, um, you know, nutrition especially designed for them. That's why it's very important, you know, to provide the extra nutrition needed in this time. It's your last chance to grow <laughs> taller. Yes. Okay, and now Kendra and to all the parents watching us today with kids who are anywhere from 10 to 15 years old, if you feel like their growth is slowing down, let's make the most out of this last chance, no? Mm -hmm. To reach um, their growth potential through eating healthy and support them with a new Pediasure Plus 10 Plus. Now, Kendra, kids your age who might be going through the same thing you're going through, do you have anything to say to them at this point? Well, I want to say that don't worry, we have, um, together we can all make the most out of our last chance to grow. As long as we eat right and do everything we can to grow tall and be stronger and get healthier, we can do this. Thank you, Kendra. And it's not just, of course, the kids. We as parents are with you in wanting you all to grow tall, strong, and healthy. That's why for kids in their final window for growth, let's help them meet their nutritional needs to fully realize their growth potential. Yes. On top of eating healthy, of course, sleeping well, and getting proper exercise, Kids can meet their changing nutritional needs with a new PediaSure Plus 10 Plus, now formulated with more protein and key vitamins and minerals to support growth and immunity. Also, PediaSure Plus offers free nutrition consulting, like now, you know, if you feel that your kids are behind their height. To our panel, Doc June and Dr. Babu, mm -hmm. thank you so much for spending time and sharing your expertise with us. Thank you, Nina. And thank you for having me. So, Kendra, it's always so nice to hear everything straight from, you know, yes. your group of individuals. Of yeah, course. Thank, thank you, you, Kendra. No problem. Thank you to you too. And thank you to PediaSure Plus 10 Plus for supporting me and growing taller and helping me on the way to becoming my best self. We can't wait to uh, watch your inspiring journey, Kendra. Yes. And, uh, okay. That's it for us. Thank you once again, everyone, for joining us. I'm Nina Corpus, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.